I'm Richard Knudsen, president of IMG. And in the demonstration that you're about to see, I'm going to show you what should be in your skill set as a SharePoint 2007 designer, or customizer. I'm going to show you how using SharePoint Designer 2007, you can create a custom form for a SharePoint list. The scenario here, I'll use the walkthrough site of the Litware Corporation to demonstrate, is something like this. I'll open up a standard SharePoint list, a calendar list. And as a designer for the Litware Corporation, I want to create a custom form for my users so that when they're in the calendar and click the New Item button, I want to make my change to this. I don't want the standard new item form that SharePoint gives us with this confusing recurrence and workspace issues. I don't want my users to have to worry about that. So I want to change this. I'm going to show you how you use SharePoint Designer to create a totally custom experience for your users. So here we are in SharePoint Designer. and Notice that I've got the walkthrough site open. And what I'll do is I'll create a new ASPX page that's going to be the container. It's going to, this is going to be what I use to expose this custom form. So I'll create a new ASPX page. And you may have seen this before. If you've created an ASPX page in SharePoint Designer, you'll know that the, the default page you create doesn't have a master page um, assigned to it, so there's no formatting and there's no controls on it other than this default form that I have here. So I'm going to insert something on this. And in particular, I'm going to use the Insert menu, select SharePoint controls, and there's a specific type of form I want to create this is a custom list form that we're going to do for this exercise. So now I need to specify which list or document library this applies to. So let's choose calendar. And you want to be careful about this. What I want to create is the new item form. This is what I'm customizing. I can also do custom edits and display forms as well. But for now, let's just choose new. And I'll show you how it works in that context. So this is the form that I'll start with, and then I'll show you how we can customize it using SharePoint Designer, and that's how we'll create the custom form. And then, after we do that, we'll go through the process of associating this form with the right calendar, and the right uh, list in SharePoint that we want it to be applied to, and we'll uh, tell SharePoint that we want this to be the form that we use for new items in the list. So now what I want to do before I go any further is let's save this. And I want to save it to a special place. I want to be able to save it in the same folder within SharePoint Designer where all the other forms for the calendar lists are saved, calendar list are saved as well. So I can go expand this lists folder. This is a standard organizational feature in SharePoint Designer 2007. And notice that I've got it Every list in my site has a folder here. I'll expand the calendar folder, and there you see are all the default forms for editing and working with that list. So what I want to do here is let's choose this form. Let's save this as new underscore appointment. That's what my custom form is going to be called. So we'll save that. So I've got it saved. It's new, new appointment.aspx. But now let's apply a master page to this. So expand the catalogs folder, expand the master page folder within there. And then remember, I can simply drag and drop this default.master anywhere on this page. And I will automatically inherit the layout and the font characteristics and everything else that we've created at that master page level. So now we'll have a much more formatted standard look for the users to interact with. So now I'll go ahead and save it. And now we want to make the changes. So let's make the custom changes to this. And I'll make these relatively simple, but you'll get the idea. The first thing that I mentioned I wanted to do was to get rid of the confusing workspace and recurrence rows for the from the default form. So I can simply locate the cursor on one of those rows, right click, choose delete, Delete rows, and you'll recognize this if you've worked with tables in Word, for example. This behavior is very similar. I'll go to the recurrence row, delete rows, 
and now both the recurrence and the workspace rows are gone. And then I could do some customizations in the rest of the calendar. Suppose instead of description, I want customer notes. Maybe if this is a calendar for my sales reps to use, I could go and do any really real customizations that I want. Instead of title, I want name of meeting. And we could really customize this in lots of different ways, but just to drive home the main points, I'll keep these relatively simple. Let's save this. So now I've got my customizations done. And the last thing I need to do is tell SharePoint Designer to make this form the default form for new items in the list. And how I do that is let's go expand the list folder, SharePoint Designer. There's my calendar. Expand that calendar list. And let's right click on the calendar and choose properties. So I right click on the calendar, or the list name that I want. And notice that the dialog comes up, list properties. There's this supporting files tab. And what I want to do here is go tell SharePoint Designer that this new item form is not the default new form.aspx. Rather, it's the, here where I saved it, this new appointment.aspx is the one that I want to be the custom one that users see. So now I'll have the experience I want to go to the top level of the walkthrough site, press F12 to preview, click on the calendar link there on the quick launch bar, and now when a user either clicks new or pulls down the new item menu, comes in here, notice that name of the meeting, my custom text is there, and no workspace and no recurrence columns at the bottom. So we have a much simpler experience and more understandable experience for my sales reps. Could obviously customize it a lot more. But what we showed you here is what is essentially a, um, it's really an essential skill for a SharePoint design. You can create a custom form on a list if you follow these steps. And certainly there was no code. It's not very difficult to do once you know how to do it.